uh, RCBC is uh, creating its own uh, digital bank with a rural bank license because you know mm-hmm. that in the Philippines, um, our regulator, the Banco Central and Filipinas, has yeah. yet to have a uh, you know a digital bank uh, a digital bank regulation. Mm-hmm. But in fact, uh, they are uh, one of the first, if not the first, regulator in Southeast Asia that has actually come uh, come up with a number of regulations that are really targeting digital banking. So without without having to pull it together and call it as a digital bank code or digital bank regulation, the digital banking offer uh, or product that um, that we will be having that we will be launching by 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 next month uh, is what we what we call this Cartech. Again, this is a uh, mm. uh, practically the country's first inclusion super app. So this will address uh, not only financial but also social. Uh, livelihood and even health and uh, wellness. Uh, we will all be offering a whole slew of financial services as well as other uh, features in the in the app. And I mm-hmm. think this is also the first mobile app in the Philippines that is in Taglish, Tagalog English. So it is mm-hmm. more of a conversational language that uh, will actually address a potential barrier amongst majority of Filipinos that find English uh, would that would be. Um, uh, in a way, intimidating for them. You have seen CIMB and ING operating in the Philippines, but you know that these yeah. two entities are owned uh, regionally. The, the digital bank that RCBC is pushing, uh, that has, you know, we already applied uh, uh, formally to our BSP, uh, will mm-hmm. be the country's first uh, digital bank owned and operated, uh, owned by, uh, as a sub- subsidiary by a uh, Philippine based or Philippine-owned uh, universal bank. We have the best of both worlds. RCBC, uh, as a as a you know as a traditional bank uh, that is now uh, trying to uh, uh, to be a you know to be a challenger bank in a sense that mm. moving towards digital would now be would now be a uh, would no would now be a new order. I mean, because for example, uh, it would be very difficult for a you know for any giant, for example, to be able to maneuver uh, mm. quickly, but of course, over time, it will be able to, uh, you know, to navigate the right course uh, for that particular player. So you have still about 58 million uh, Filip- adult Filipinos that remain to, uh, that do not even have a bank account until now. This is where we will be playing, because again, uh, there are two 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 major uh, metrics. Uh, that we want to really emphasize here, right? Uh, well, you have acquisition and you have usage. Right. You, you have developed a formula for it. You call it the 4P plus 3B. The 4 piece would be, of course, uh, people, uh, you have the process, you have the product, and you have... And of course, the, we have the triple uh, Vs, the value, volume, and value, volume, value and velocity. Uh, and of course, uh, that would now result in having a profit optimization, uh, the data generation, and cost minimization. Because remember, at the end of the day, uh, the the value of you going into digital would really mean uh, having to generate, having to uh, having to achieve the PDCs, you know, the PD, yeah. the PDC. So profit optimization, data generation, and cost minimization. Uh, we are very lucky that we have a very able. Uh, and a digital savvy president CEO uh, mm. uh, in the person of uh, Eugene Acevedo, who is a, a seasoned banker as well, an advocate of digital financial inclusion, and uh, you know who has actually rallied all the people inside inside RCBC to really make a difference and to really uh, um, you know push the envelope in terms of having to. Uh, really deliver and sustain the momentum. I think on top of the 2019 results, you could also see the spectacular performance in Q1 of 2020. I mean, you've seen uh, the increase in uh, uh, net income uh, at 77%. I mean, if you are to compare that with the other uh, players in the industry, I think we're one of one of the you know one of the uh, front runners when it comes to having uh, uh, profitability uh, on Q1.